Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Ah, damn it. Think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse oh uh, uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief Come on, I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. <laughs> you're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you're still here... <laughs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying to cause... assert your talent? I mean, what the Why hell are you always even do talking this, about? Reggie? Why don't you just let me be who I am? Tell me what big, bad, if scary you listen, shit you're gonna say us from. It to you. Really? Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go, or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Reg? What's going on? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? Oh God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! What's going on? Reggie! Okay? Nelson, what was that? I gotta get that thing off you. You just... I gotta get you out! 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, just... Just help me push! Oh, dear God. Oh, no, no! Oh, shit! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're all right. You're all right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You were my brother. All right? You were my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise we'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. Get out there. There is a bio so We gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay, come on. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. Nelson's a bioterrorist, too. Wait, he's not... Vents. Good to know. Not good. Wow, that should have hurt. Spoil the surprise. You gotta get out of here, lady. Stay away from I'm me. I'm trying to help no, you, lady. Stay away from me. Stop. Stop. Nelson. I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit. Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something, or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. <laughs> I saw you, poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! You're not going anywhere until you fix this! Just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, 
We got him, right? I uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh, I, I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. <laughs> good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because... <laughs> Aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you are not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there! No! Betty! Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? I'm a conduit. What? I said... I'm a conduit, alright? I caught it a second ago from... from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Tell him. So, Betty, maybe you can give me a straight answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm told that hurts. Wake up! Dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Hey. Can't be ashamed for what you are. 
can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly-piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. That's the whole reason why we're in this, is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. I'm gonna be fine. Really? Mm-hmm. Just stay. Delson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's a thing more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? Right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait. What? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man. I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie. I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Dustin. You just got back on your feet. I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's kidding out is with the same power. I get it. Which means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it. You'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck. I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet, Maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be... Yeah. Healing the sick. The hero. And... What, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Del, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. 
Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! This must be the mothership. Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep. New. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle. Right, some in the police force. No, if no, 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 no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. Well, this is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? It's not. Please. All right. Fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go need... play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. Hey, Delson, I need you up here. Dude, you will not believe what that beeping was. Let's get up I... here, okay? I found a bus full of relief workers that stuck. I'm trying to convince them to just abandon the bus. They don't want to leave all the medical supplies on top. Well, just tell them to hold on. I'll get the bus unstuck. Delson, I know what you're thinking, and don't. Dude, I just took out a fleet of quadcopters. I think I can dig out a bus. I am unstoppable! Delson, I told you not to... Yeah, sorry, Reg. Can't hear you over the sound of my heroics. Delson, we got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. So what, am I like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go! Sir! Just give me a second! Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you, all right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes.
<laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. Okay, okay, I give up, okay? Just don't hurt me! Pitching army, huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh? Take it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope. Can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal viral terrorist. So normal? You know. No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We I can did. take these Look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. I'll settle. Please place your finger on the scanner. Processing. Warning. Prime number is active. Lethal force is on the line. Best of two out of three. Delphin, run! Hell with that! Delphin, stay behind cover! Don't tell me how to fight! I'm fine. Dandy. Uh, just like you said, laying low. Just keep laying low. I'll call when I've got something. Nelson, got access to the Seattle Police Database. Turns out, the UP has eyes and ears everywhere. Well, let's gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. Not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movements. Mobile command center, got it. So what exactly does one of those look like? Uh, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communication gear on top. I could prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys.
about you, big fella? No time to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. Okay, Delson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle. Okay, Reg, I'm here and you were right. The needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and what looks like a bad aluminum siding job. You're gonna have to get to the top of the needle. Well, it's a nice day, I'll just climb to the top. Climb. No, 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 don't be crazy. Right, hey man, it's not crazy to be awesome. All right, time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Oh, I haven't seen you before. Reg, man, they got a small army up here. Good. Things are in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delson. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the antennas in place. away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Reg. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the street! Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the Space Needle, man. You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is going to take time. We just got here. You know what they say. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. You see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. Yeah, who's this? Raymond Wolf. Whoa, like the Raymond Wolf, the, the, the guy who cracked the military's real involvement with the Empire City catastrophe? Good. You've heard of me. That'll make this easier. I need your help. Get to Sundial Park and I'll tell you more about it. All right, man, I'm here. Uh, so what do you need? My editor has been captured by the DUP. He's being questioned as we speak. I'm still looking into where he's being held, but in the meantime, I need you to pick up my most Watch recent story. Back, the DUP are looking for it, and I don't want it falling into their hands. Sure, man. Uh, how, how do I find it? The markers of the drop site are a series of fish stickers I place to point the direction. Just follow the fish stickers. Cole's Gift, Short-Lived or Just Beginning, by Raymond Wolf. It's common knowledge that when Cole McGrath died, he not only cured the plague that was sweeping the world, but took every conduit with him to his grave. What we didn't know was that this would be temporary. Within a year, rumors emerged of the return of the conduit gene. 
Some believe that the plague had survived and mutated, this time creating conduits rather than killing normals. Some believe that not all the conduits were actually killed, but a few remained and were somehow able to spread their abilities. I've personally looked into both of these urban legends and have yet to find proof of either of them. Which is why I'm here in Seattle. I believe the DUP know more than they're letting on. Wow, that was informative. That's why I'm here. There's more to this story, and I think Augustine and the DUP have the key. I'm going to need your help to figure it out. I'll be in touch. Uh, thanks, or uh, you're welcome, I guess. Banner man. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? Yeah, I just heard. And can we please not use the B word? What? A bioterror? Yeah. You know, that's just a slur invented by the DUP to make people scared of conduits, man. Look, whatever you want to call him, let's just track him down and find out what he can tell us about Augustine. And drain his powers. Okay, fine. And drain his powers. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. All right. They just found a body at Fifth and Briar. Go check it out. But promise me, you'll be inconspicuous? Yeah. Okay, I did it your way. I'm past your boys in blue. Thank you. Although, what's the use of having smoke powers if you're not gonna use them? Ah, there's my baby brother. Well, found the victim. Definitely the work of a conduit. It's very... showy. Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. There's your wounds. I wonder what kind of power did this? Fire blast or lasers? Ooh, what about flesh-eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh-eating death gaze, right? Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim, it's gonna be the guy who came up with the name Bannerman. Bro, you really need to let that go. Okay, sending you the picture, but I think he blinked. Uh, Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. Yeah, the DUP's just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. It has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. Well, this conduit sure got a certain style. Kind of nouveau sick. Okay. Just need... Let me guess. Face and wounds. If it's not too much trouble. All right, there you go. Stand by for wounds. No need. I got a hit on the face. Guy's a drug dealer. Rap sheet's a mile long. Look around for his stash. Might give us a clue why the sniper chose him. Holy... Holy what? What holy? Delson, are you okay? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Don't impale me. Be I come in careful. peace. Real original advice. It's okay. It's okay. I'm one of you. I mean, one of us. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, especially if you don't slow down. Stop! 
Cops, come back! Great. Nice meeting you. You get him? No, he ran fast, like, like really, really fast. Conduit fast, man. Screw flesh-eating death gaze. I want that. Now, don't be greedy. Funny thing, man. I just before every shot, you could see the neon sign behind him dim a little. Uh, must be his power source. Uh, head back to the sign. See what you can find. Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? <laughs> you should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What? What does that even mean? I, I don't know. It's just girled up. Girl stuff. Like the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting. And it is definitely the best smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay, but... Look, just send me photos of anything you think might help. That's interesting, all right. You know, it's a long shot, but maybe if I run this through the database, cross-referencing the name Brent, good lucky. You know, if I had smoke and lasers, I could, like, Put on light shows in our living room. Oh, that'd be putting your powers to good use. Hey, Reg, I was, uh, I was just thinking about the bras. Well, stop, okay? Seriously, just stop. Okay, I'm thinking, when I get to Augustine, it's gonna be like, whoom, smoke, and then once I got on the ropes, it's like, zap, zap, I'll whip out the laser show. Well, it's good to have a plan. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this, found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death? A single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. I'm sending you the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. <sighs> sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah? Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. So you're saying, what, the DUP is trying to scare people? I mean, their job is to control the panic. Fresh, you should see this, man. Speedy gone crazy is a tagger. She's a pretty damn good one, too. Yeah, well, don't forget she's a murderer, right? Pretty damn good one, too. She sets a lovely altar. It's actually kind of touching. Yeah, well, there's good touching and bad touching. You really shouldn't leave lit candles unattended. Brent, 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 Brent. Oh, look, Brent. God, it's always Brent with this girl. You gotta admit, girl makes a mean vortex. Okay, that is full bore crazy. Okay, so the girl stops off for takeout, comes here to sit with Neon Brent to tell him all about her day while she chowders down. You know, Olaf's has a location on Alaskan Way. He's supposed to have one of the biggest neon signs in the city. Hey, if I had neon powers and a chowder Jones, that's where I'd hang. I am on my way. Oh man, that smells good. Why didn't I take some cash off those dealers? Money, why do you hate me? Be my friend, Money. Come to me. Let's bond. No! It's okay! God!
speed of light. Ah, not this again. Just like last time, Delson. Concentrate. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away. I got this now. Just leave me alone! Got to calm down, all right? Just relax. You're not taking Just me wanna... back! I am not going back to Curtin K! No! As a little girl, I never thought it'd be me. That I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but my brother Brent just grabbed our coats, and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers, and man, they hooked us up. The drugs. The drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And the withdrawal, agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... The government picked me up easy enough after that. But it wasn't a regular jail. They trained me to shoot, taught me how to kill. So on the day of the crash, I escaped with all those skills. Everything I needed to set things right. Brent, I promise. Every dealer I find, I'm gonna burn your name in their chest. No one else is gonna suffer like we did. No brother. Nobody else. Delson. <laughs> hey, Delson, you all right, brother? What happened? Oh, she did good. You did good, buddy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> You did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her, and she won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing. Nelson, murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. She stays free. No. Dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction. Doesn't mean that we're gonna pick up every little piece of trash we find. Look, I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! It should be my responsibility! Yeah, because responsibility is not exactly something you excel at. I got this.
Fine. I'm here for the tribe of the Holland bioterrorists. I'm a conduit. He's cool. He's normally cool. He's just not today. Yeah. Let's talk. to see and the powers to steal. Okay, promise you won't be mad. But th the good news is you can start without me. Oh, face the danger alone? Gee, that is good news. Listen, I found out a major drug shipment came in a couple days ago and it's stored on some boats there at the marina. All right, on some boats at a marina. That's all the details I need. It's a big shipment, so it'll probably be houseboats. And this group uses a dolphin as sort of their mark, so I'd look for anything on a boat with a dolphin on it. Better. But don't wait for me. You never know when they'll start offloading that stuff. So what held you up? Girl stuff. Ew, what kind of girl stuff? Putting some serious hurt on this drug dealing scumbag until he sold out his friends and told me all about this goddamn drug shipment. Yeah, drugs. Hey Fetch, I'm gonna tag all the boats with drugs to make it easier for you to know which one to take out. Man, can't you ever... What's the matter? Having trouble finding boats at the marina? No wonder it took me so long. Fetch, you said dolphin, but clearly, uh, this is a porpoise. It's a common mistake. This is why I hate working with boys. You ready? Let's light up the bay. Well, that's three less evil dolphin boats in the world. Three less porpoise boats. Don't worry, it's a common mistake. D, wake up. They're on the move. Probably moving some stuff to their main location. We should follow them. Let them lead us to it. They pulled into the alley. This must be the place. All right, so what's the plan? Uh, get him? Get him isn't a plan. Somebody in the truck. All right, ladies. Come on, let's go. Yes, the bad men are gone. Go, live, love. Just not professionally. If you want to get clean, now's the time. There won't be any more drugs on the street. Don't screw it up. And they're gone. I think a couple of low-life bioterrorists will ever get thanked for saving people. Yeah. I think you might have saved me. Oh. oh. So what, are you gonna give up on your whole ritualistic murdering of drug dealers? It's like half your charm. Oh, well, yeah? What's the other half? Actually, that was it. You... Just the one charm. Don't worry, I'm not giving up on my passions. Just... I know some new ones. Oh! Like boxing. <laughs> Is that like your whole attempt at a tender moment? Ugh. You are a sentimental psychopath, aren't you? Come on, let's just get the rest of these drugs in the harbor. Maybe we can get a few fish strung out. Man, hook a dolphin. Hey. Uh, you like me. <laughs>
Hey, Delson. I got word of a ramped up DUP presence over in the Lantern District. You must think there's a conduit hiding there. That sounds like the place to be. Oh, hey, there's a bridge near here that'll get you there. Great. Now this is a conference call. Hi, Fetch. Hey, Abigail. Might be worth mentioning that that bridge was broken up like the 520 by the DUP. Hey, Powerless. They ain't built and wrecked a bridge yet that we conduits can't cross. Right, Dee? Hey, it might be worth a shot, Reg. Well, it sounds like you're in completely confident and trustworthy hands. You know, why don't you call me? If you get there. Man, how do you put up with that? He pays the bills. I'm heading for the bridge. Target sighted! Up there! Oh, bad move, man. This is gonna be awesome! Recognize me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the one that had me dead to rights a couple weeks ago and just let me walk away. You've changed since then. You mean the smoke thing? Yeah, that's new. <laughs> I hear you've learned a new trick. You've expanded your arsenal. I, I don't know where you heard that. I mean, I'm, I'm just a lowly smoke guy. We'll see. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's doing nothing for me. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I, you know, lied about the neon thing, but listen, I think I can save us both a lot of time here. I just need to leech a little power off you, that's it. You want me to just give you my power? I mean, not enough to sink bridges or anything, but enough to pull the concrete daggers out of my friends, yeah. And then after that, you will never see me again. I've got a better idea. Since you'd be useless to me back in your little hovel, how about you stay here with me? I kind of like my idea better. Dawson. You disappoint me. No. Whoa! Ah, the Lantern District, where I was headed all along. Just took the scenic route. Hey, uh, uh is this Delson Rowe? Yeah, who's this? Oh, uh, I am just a huge fan of your work. That tag you put on the needle, the yin-yang conflict of avian desire, right? See, I get what you're doing. 
the whole give power to the powerless thing, and I want to help. Okay. Well, if you want to help, you can help me find one of the escaped conduits who might be here in the Lantern District. Oh. Well, why do you want him? Or her? I just want to shake his or her hand. Okay. Well, I've heard the DUP's planning to take all the suspected conduits they've routed up and move them to this holding facility they built downtown. Convoy's supposed to come right through the Lantern District, cutting across the I-90 overpass. Okay. You happen to know if any of these people have actual powers? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, totally. Absolutely, yes. Huh. Well, thanks. Uh, I, I'm sorry, man. What'd you say your name was? It's, uh, it's, it's Eugene. It's a dorky name, I know. <laughs> hey, my mom got Delson off of an old western. Hey, Eugene, I'm thinking the easiest thing to do here is somehow drop the road a little. You know, pull the rug out from underneath him? Well, you could just blow it up. No, I can't take the chance it'll kill the conduit I'm looking for. I think I'm just gonna cut the supports, and then the trucks will make it drop a little. Bam! Instant roadblock. Okay. See, man, this is why I'm such a big fan. I wish I could be there to see it. Well, come on out and watch. But, you know, from a safe distance, of course. Because when we conduits go to work, you mortals better give us a wide berth. Right. Uh, right. Well, uh, you know what? On second thought, then, I'm going to stay home. I'll let you know if I find anything more about the convoy, though. Shit. Damn it. Of course, man. <sighs> <laughs> uh, suckers. Hey, Eugene, talk to me, man. What am I looking for in this convoy? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're moving a lot of prisoners, so maybe look for some buses? Eugene, those buses are long gone. Any chance you know where they went? Uh, I don't know. Radio chatters all over the place. I can't figure out where they're headed. Wait, wait, you're tapped into the DUP right now? How the hell did you pull that off? Uh, just this phone app I've been tinkering with. Here, I'll send you a link. Okay, got it. Uh, so, what's it do? It's a signal tracker. You can listen in on the DUP's communications. But the cool thing is, you can also use it to pinpoint the direction the signal's coming from. Man, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to take this thing out for a test drive. We drove right into a goddamn ambush. It was definitely Roe. We were able to get clear with our cargo, but we lost contact with the others. No, oh, Eugene, <laughs> I got something. I told you. What in the hell have I walked in on? Angels? Are you kidding me right now? So either one of those escapees can make angels, or I'm going after God. And I do not like my odds in that matchup. Hey, Delson. Look, they found one of those vests the DUP 
suspects way over by Hinghay Market. A uh, guy belonged to might still be there. There's lots of places to hide. Oh, thanks for the tip. So where'd you disappear to earlier, huh? Hey, well, maybe conduits don't have to go to the bathroom, but the rest of us do. <sighs> How do you get all this information about what's going on? Look, in, in the Lantern District, the walls have ears and eyes. I just have friends in high places. It sounds like helpful friends. Uh, well, I couldn't imagine better. Let's see, if I had one of these things on, I would want to get it off as fast as possible because, well, because they're butt ugly. And I guess because they just scream, attack me, I'm a suspected bioterrorist. So you want some place private to get undressed with a door that locks, a place to sit while you changed. A porta potty would be perfect. You'd kill two birds with one stone. Hey, I'm not with the DUP. And I'm not a freak who goes around opening occupied porta potties. No, wait, I saw him first. These angels are quick. Hey, Delson, I'm in the Lantern District. You still here? Yeah, about time you made it across. What the hell's going on? Leave you on your own for a couple hours and suddenly there's angels dive bombing people. That has something to do with the conduit we're looking for. I set free a bunch of prisoners the dupes were moving. I think one of them might be our guy. Well, lucky for you, Big Brother's here. Finding escapees is what I do. Well, be on the lookout for anyone in a black and yellow vest. I saw one on the ground in uh, Hing Hang Market. Looked like a bitch to get off. Locks all over it. Gotta say, little brother, get the hang of this manhunt thing. Maybe when we get back home, I'll deputize you. Just have a job for a change. Whoa, no thanks. One cop in the family is embarrassing enough. No! No! No, 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 don't! Oh, nice catch when you have. How's it going, deputy? Whoever this angel maker is, he's pissing me off. They keep grabbing all the conduits and I can't keep up. Oh, same old, same old. If the angels aren't bad enough, there's these gangs of surly dudes out hunting the Vestoids, too. Uh, those would be occurrence. An angry gang of bullies who like to cause trouble around the International District. You should stay clear of them. So far, so good. These guys are real scum of the earth types. Whoa, whoa, relax. I think it's time you called in the cop, brother. Listen, meet me by the porta potty in the Hingay Market. Got a crazy idea. All right, I'll meet you by the porta. Listen, man, I don't know what. You can trust me. I'm a cop. You know, I've noticed you like to mention that a lot. What? What do you think? I mean, there's a little bit of pain putting on, especially in there. It like somebody had some Thai food. But what do you think? Chase me. You want me to chase you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase me, shoot me, uh, shoot near me, near me, and we'll see what happens when one of the angels shows up. Yeah, because I've got a really good batting average with the angels right now. If they take you, man, they take you to God yeah. knows where. I know. Okay, but look, you know how you're always losing your phone and then you grab mine and find it? Right. Right. Well, we have a GPS link. So you're like a big, ugly tracking device. Okay. Right. But look, we got to make this look real, okay? Not too real, just real enough to fool the angels. You get me? Oh, I can get you right between the eyes. No, no, just... Don't be a dick. <laughs> Not bad. And we have lift off. Hey, hey, follow my phone and don't be a dick! Hey, uh, maybe a little slower? It's my first time with an angel, you know. Video angels, I should have seen that coming. I'm 
coming out of the screen, man. Shoot it. Ooh, you don't like it when I shoot the screen, do you? Was that your home? Is that where you hang your halos at night? That's it. Keep shooting the screen. I think it's really putting the heart on him. Never like commercials anyway. Now, where did Reggie end up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Worst idea ever. Oh, what the hell? Woo. I gotta hand it to you, big brother. You make excellent live bait. God, it worked, didn't it? Uh, Found the angel conduit slayer, now we go take him out. Uh, Come on, you coming with me or what? Uh, I'm gonna take this shit off. And I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. There's gotta be a ton of weird, spiky shit down there, and that, brother, that's all you. Oh my god. Don't walk away, Mad. <laughs> you, it was your plan. <sighs> <laughs> what? <sighs> hey, Delta. Eugene, wanted to thank you for your help. Found the conduit's hideout and about to go inside. That's a bad idea. Come on, he's a conduit. It doesn't even do his own fighting. How hard can it be? No, no, really. Don't go in there. All right, I'll call you when it's over. All right, time to learn a few new tricks. Okay, so this is where they make angels. Hello? Anybody home? I see lots of vests, but no people wearing them. What the hell did he do with them? Okay, how would I imagine from the outside? Okay, bigger than I'd hoped. I am oh, he am who dwells, well. and you have invaded my dominion. No one's invading your dominion, okay? I just want to share your powers. At school, I always tried to blend in, to fade into the background, to disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... that I couldn't control. A at first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. She made me call them out, always, always stopping before they could save me. Then that crash. That was my chance to, to finally really disappear where no one could find me and hurt me. But when I saw them rounding up more people who were different, 
I knew what she was gonna do to them, and I knew. I knew we had to stop her. It's starting to get old. Oh, it sounded like you were in trouble, so I came running. You yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. I couldn't have done without you. Oh, wait, I already did. Speaking of, man, you're not gonna believe what I can do now. As soon as I figure out what it is that I can do. Well, important thing is you got a kidnapper off the streets. Whoa, whoa, bro, not kidnapper. He's more like a rescuer. Delson, listen to me. He took suspected conduits right off the street yeah. against their will. That's kidnapping. Okay, don't go anywhere. First of all, thank you for using the word conduit. Second of all, why are you being such a dick? Look, fine. Let's just agree to disagree. But we both know it's better for everyone if he goes in a cage. Just hang out for a second. Can I talk to you? I thought you were all about rule of law and not locking up people without due process. Hey, normally, that's what I do. Oh, what, so it just gets thrown out the window whenever it's convenient for you? Is that it? Just put a red wig and an old trench coat on you, start calling you Augustine. <laughs> no, maybe next Halloween. Cool. So, Game Boy and I over there are gonna have a little conversation conduit to conduit. No normals allowed? Fine. If you need me, be right outside, okay? Owen, thank you for all your help. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait, I you already, already did. did. I know, it wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> so, what do you say, Eugene? You, me, a couple of conduits hit the town. You show me some of your new video tricks. I show you how to pick up some girls. Maybe rescue some of our marked brethren. I don't think so. But I still feel safer in here. Come on, man. You keep staying down here and playing angels and demons. You're never gonna get laid. Listen, man. It's your life. But there is a way for us to live out there in the real world. But it's up to us to make it happen. You think about that, you let me know, okay? you a new core relay. You Reggie, man, I need you. I... All of my powers are gone. I got I, nothing new from Eugene or any of the old stuff. What? what? Hey, stay where you are. I'm coming. No, no, it's... It's, it's too open here. GPS says there's, there's an alley a few blocks away. All right, I got it. I'll meet you there. Thank God you're here, Reggie. I need your help. Man. Wait, wait, slow down. Did you say you lost all of your powers? Yes, I lost all of my powers. I, I, I lost smoke. I lost Neon, I never even got Listen, video. this is great! This is great news, man! What the hell is this great news? I've got a thousand dupes after me, and I've got nothing to go on. Remember, we said we were gonna find a cure for you, and this is it! I mean, all that bioterrorist stuff, it's gone! Delson, we can go home now. Go home? Listen, you have given it your best, all right? The tribe knows that, I know that. But it is a miracle you are even still alive. I mean, please, can't we just... Quit while you're ahead for once. Tell me the truth. If you were me, would you just quit and go home? Absolutely. If I were you. No. So I Wait. don't care if I have to throw rocks. I am gonna get Augustine. But since I'd rather avoid the whole David and Goliath throwing rocks scenario, I really need your help. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've already made up your mind, so why do you need me? Well, if I'm gonna have any chance of getting any powers back, it's gonna be through one of these core relays. Of course. But, damn it, Reg, I can't crack one of these things without any powers, all right? So I... I don't actually need you. I, I, I need your gun. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You are not getting my gun, and that is final.
Jeez. But maybe I will let you have a couple of my bullets. <laughs> Thanks, man. Nelson, there's someone I want you to talk with. He's been a useful source for me and is a powerful force in the anti-DUP resistance movement. Hey, buddy. You don't know me. And that's likely for the best. I was there at the beginning. Well, anyway, I, I've got some advice for you, if you're willing to listen to an old hound dog like me. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. Great, great. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm sure you've got a lot of questions about what's going on with your body. Your hormones are on fire, and you just want to explode. Whoa, man, what are you, what are you talking about? But you've got to keep in all that conduit juice. It's dangerous. You understand me? Now, when the time is right, you will find the right person to direct it towards. And that moment is going to be a turning point for you, my friend. It'll be like a big firework sandwich. And you just want to make sure that you are safe about biting into that firework sandwich. Because it's going to have fireworks in it. Could be bad. You follow me? No, not exactly. Great. Good talk. Good talk. You take care of yourself now, buddy. Yeah, who's this? Nelson, they found me. I need your help. Now! Nelson, if you're hearing this, then I'm dead. I have a final request for you. Take all the photos, notes, and evidence to Zeke. I'll make sure it gets out to the people. And Delson, watch your actions. They will not only define you, but the whole world. Don't be so hard on your brother. I spent the last decade trying to prove mine was responsible for all the bad that's happened in the world. It's not worth it. Raymond Wolf, signing off. He's calling me. Delson, it's Zeke. I just heard. How can I help? Yeah, uh, he said I should give you his notes, so where should we meet? Great. I can get them out to the people who need them. As far as meeting up, <laughs> I don't take this the wrong way, but I kind of got this whole undercover thing going on right now. Being seen with you wouldn't be the best for my image, or lack of one, you know? I'll send you the location for a dead drop, and I'll take it from there. All right, I dropped off all his notes. What are you going to do with them? There's a group of us. We all met online. We've been chipping away at the DUP's armor. With any luck, Wolf's notes will show us a weak spot. Either way, don't be surprised if you start seeing all this stuff out on the interwebs. I'll be in touch. And hey, Cole would be proud. Uh, cool. Thanks. I'll talk to you later, Zeke. Gene, open up. It's me. Hey, Delson. What'd you move the clubhouse? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll, man. Well, no, you're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna stick to the shadows. What? You know, stealth. Right. Stealth. All right, stealth, what's the plan? Uh, you know all those suspected bioterrorists we freed from the DUP? Well, I actually remember it being a rescue party of one, but go on. Uh, it turns out the Akuran gang's been rounding them up and holding them at a construction site near here. They're planning to sell them back to the DUP. Great. Why don't we go get them? Well, don't worry. I'm sending my friends to meet you there. And by friends, I hope you mean an army of archangels and not Melvin and Lenny from your D&D &D group? I don't have a D&D &D group. Eugene, seriously, man. You've got to lighten up. <laughs> okay, buddy, I'm here. Where are your friends? Uh, they're on their way, but you need to check the interior of the site, and they're not so good in enclosed spaces. Angels are claustrophobic. Great. Anything else I should know about my backup? Uh, they're not so great in water either. Well, that makes two of us. Damn. Those occurrence are good at hiding people. Whoa, whoa, wait, I'm hearing choppers, man. Get to the roof. Helicopters are picking up shipping containers there. And the conduits must be inside. Damn it, too late. No, no, see my angels? 
I'll have them keep the helicopters close enough to the roof so you can jump on the containers. Oh, sure. Just jump on the moving shipping containers four stories off the ground. <laughs> you see, this is the kind of fun stuff you miss when you stick to the shadows. Once you're... It's not crazy to be awesome. That's the last of them. Delson, that last container's on the ground at Denny Park. The UV's converging on it now. You can't let them get those conduits. I am not letting you have these people. Eugene, you got any more angels you can send my way? Uh, yeah, look, but it might take a while. Ah, uh, I haven't got a while. Gonna use up all the ones I got in about two minutes. No, 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 this isn't supposed to happen. Don't flake on me now, man. I, I, look, I, I can't, I can't, can't do this anymore. Eugene, no, 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 stay with me. Eugene? Eugene? Come on, man, please tell me you did not just leave me at the altar. Home, for I have come. Eugene, buddy, please tell me that's you. Now prepare to feel the wrath. Oh, you guys are gonna hate this. Well, look who decided to join the real world. Yeah, you convinced me. Figured I'd give people one more chance. Well, on behalf of people, thank you. Yeah, well, worst that can happen, they let me down again. I ran Hellfire on their asses. Oh. There you go, kid. Happy thoughts. A man, a plan, and an aerosol can. Delson, you near a TV? Ever since Eugene, yeah, I try to stay close. News reported an explosion at the tower, then immediately retracted. Try to find a good vantage point to scope things out. Red, you're right. They're scrambling, but no one's firing. And now they're ordering all Seattle PD out of an area near the waterfront. Must be something they don't want anybody to see. Well, hope they don't mind if I take a look. It sounds like they've carpeted the group with APCs. Stick to the rooftops. You worry too much. The Reds are scorch marks everywhere. Looks like my handiwork. Ah, so there's another smoke conduit. Shouldn't surprise you. There's not just one of each. No, I guess I was just hoping for something new. Show me what you mean by handiwork. Wow. So this is what it looks like when you... I avoided looking up close. Hey man, they do the same thing to me. That DUP helmet. Still working? Reg, this conduit, man, they're saying it's that guy, Hank. Well, I, I thought you said she killed him back in Salmon Bay. She did, or I thought she did. I mean, I saw her kill him. I mean, he's dead, I'm, I'm sure of it. Just keep looking. 
Okay, Reggie, I'm gonna admit it. I was wrong. You can keep that. A little early Christmas gift for you. Hey, Delson, you gotta call a girl when you decide to go on a rampage in downtown. Uh, that's not me. I got a great view of somebody smoking the hell out of Duke Choppers. Wait, you can see them? Where are you? On top of a building, near 12th and Union. Why do you care about this guy? You already got smoke. Because I think this might be the guy who was on that transport with you, the one I got my powers from. You mean that big sweaty guy, Hank? Yes, and if he busted out of Augustine's tower, then maybe he can help me figure out a way to break in. Why don't you come with me and help? No. No, that guy is bad news. I think I'll just, you know, sit back and watch the fireworks. Delson, just watch yourself. I don't trust the bald redneck. Sure, but I'm not exactly helpless, all right? Besides, he and I have got something in common. We've got no love for Augustine. Yeah, good luck. Hank? How, how the hell did you get this number? You listed. Sorry about the thing with the sucker punch before, but uh, I knew there was no talking to you till you calmed down. You calm down? I swear, man, when I get my hands on you, I'm... I'll call you back in a half hour. No, 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 wait. I'm, I'm calm. You sure? Because so far you've been all about chasing and shouting and wailing away at me. I'm going to take Augustine down, but I need your help to do it. I could sign on for something like that. Great. Then we should... Hold on. The DUP guys around here are scrambling. Something's up. I'll check it out and I'll call you back. Reggie, it's me. Delson, thank God. You disappeared on me. Sorry, look, I caught up with Hank. He wants to work with us to get to Augustine. What? No, I I'm not so sure that's a good idea, man. Come on, you know what, big brother? You worry too much. Yeah, maybe you just don't worry enough. Listen, be careful and watch your back. You worry too much? No, not enough. Hank, what's up? Listen, kid, I've been thinking. When you was chasing me across those buildings with all the helicopters and all before? Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about all that. I... No, I was just going to say, you clearly been getting the hang of those smoke tricks I gave you. Well, I uh, kind of need you to teach me one more. You managed to escape her tower once. How'd you get past those electrified barricades? There's a transformer on a roof across the way. You got to shut down. But it ain't going to do you no good. She got the whole thing armored up and half the DUP force is standing guard. Right, but maybe if we both work together... Hey, my specialty's breaking out of places like that, not in. Listen, we both got our reasons for getting to Augustine. She got something each of us wants. But we gotta do it on our terms, not hers. We gotta draw her out of her castle and out here, where we stand a chance. Uh, any ideas? Well, you know them two kids that was on the armored bus with me? Fetch and Eugene. I guess. Anyways, DUP's got them. What? Just happened. That was all the commotion before. I guess she needed to reel them in to make up for me getting loose. She's sending them out to that big concrete platform the DUP built between the two islands. Well, then we gotta help them. Now, there's a pier right across from that platform. Meet me there just after sunset. I'll be there. Reggie, Eugene and Fetch, they... I heard, I heard. Hank and I, we've worked out a plan to storm the island and take out whatever dupes are guarding them in Delson, the... Delson, I've been thinking, there have been a lot of innocent people killed lately. Normal people. Normal? Jesus, Reg. We're not going back to that, are we? Look, I'm not sure I can help you add to that count, all right? Just to set a couple of bioterrorists free. Reggie, I... I'm a cop. I'm supposed to prevent this kind of thing. Just give me a call when it's over, and we'll head back to Salmon Bay. And Delson, watch out for Hank. I don't trust him.
Reg, what, what are you doing here? Look, those are people over there. They need our help. Not bioterrorists, not conduits. People. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for being here, so... What's Cop doing here? He's my brother, okay? He's, he's here for me. So, what are you thinking? <clears throat> I've been doing some recon. Our best bet's the dock on the far side. It's less exposed. Figure you two can do your smoke gift Thank and you. draw their attention out front. I'll commandeer a boat and go in during the distraction. Why are you going in first? It's because I'm a cop. Which means I can commandeer a boat and it's legal. You steal a boat, I'm gonna haul your ass in. Oh, he'll do it, too. Um, so we'll see you inside, right? Yeah, see you inside. Stay safe, will you? Here she is. We pop in here, she'd come out smack dab in the middle of the thing. You sure about this? Hey, when I was in that tower, I saw things. One more thing, they got one of them drone things out there. The ones you get powers from. You know about that. Sure would be nice to get a new power before stomping on Augustine. Let's go. All of a sudden, you don't trust me? I don't know, man. Something's not right. Maybe I should call Reggie. Hank! Henry, you didn't disappoint me. I did like you asked. You just do like you promised. You son of a bitch! I trusted you! Never trust a convict. I see we found something in your size, but just to be sure. Oh, lady. My brother finds out what you did. Oh, he is gonna. He's gonna what? Oh, you could have hit me! Yeah, that's payback for blasting me with the angels. Now, come on, get up. Come over here. I'll get those cuffs off you. Sorry, I'm out of grenades. You have to do this the old fashioned way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. I'll flinch. I knew we couldn't trust him. Okay, okay, you were right. If I'd listened to you, we wouldn't even be here. Uh-huh. Well, as long as we are here, we should save those two people. How are you gonna get us out of here? I'm gonna have to shoot you down. This sounds like a plan cop man would come up with. Oh, crap! Look out! Nelson, look at me. You gotta let me go. No, I can do this. Listen, can we can't this. let can this stuff this. get to you two. David, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No!
Kurt White reporting from the scene of an intense battle between the DUP and a small group of bioterrorists. You can see the last of the massive structure built by the DUP as it sinks into the icy waters of Puget Sound. Eyewitnesses tell us that the only survivor was DUP head Brooke Augustine, last spotted heading in the direction of the concrete tower that has served as her headquarters since the DUP arrival nearly two weeks ago. But so far, our efforts to reach Miss Augustine have produced no response. And now we're getting reports of scattered demonstrations by local citizens in support of the DUP, demanding that the bioterrorist uprising in Seattle be ended by any means necessary. For US TV, this is Kurt Wyatt, reporting live from Seattle. I'm sorry, man. You knew. You told me not to trust Tank, but I didn't listen. But I swear to you, this son of a bitch is not there. Where is Tank Daughtry? I know he made a deal with Augustine. Now, where is he? Damn it. Should have left one breathing to answer the question. At least I know he's alive. Just gotta find him. Wait a minute, he called before. His number's gotta be in the incoming call log. Gotcha. Here for Hank. What do you know? Turns out I don't need your goddamn protection. I made it out of the city yet. Yeah, when I left the trail of you guys' carcasses from one end of the city to the other. Any DUP shows up at the marina, that line's just gonna continue right out into the water. He's heading to a marina, running out of dry land. I'd say me and old Hank are about to meet up again. Reggie. Uh, I didn't know, I swear to God. You didn't know? You set us up! Oh, she said she wasn't gonna hurt you. She promised she's just gonna talk. What, and you believed her? Uh, she got a sadistic streak a mile wide, but I never heard tell of her actually killing a conduit. My brother would still be alive if it wasn't for you. She had my daughter. Why'd you just come with us? Just disappear. Stay safe, Hank. I'm coming, honey! Let's go home! Time to get what I came for, Augustine. Shh, 
Okay, I can work with that. Even if the rest of it is still active. are everywhere Hey D, saw a trail of bodies over on Pioneer. Thought of you and followed him. Hope you don't mind. Happy to see me? I had that covered, you know. Oh, I know, but the hell you did. So this means you're along for the ride? You kidding? My two favorite people in the world in a knockdown drag out? Wouldn't miss it for the world. There you go. More smoke toys. Hey, Fetch! This would be a good time for some backup! Ask and ye shall receive! Gene, man, you sure know how to level a playing field. It's good to have friends in high places. The whole roof's armor plate. Let me try the high beams on it. Uh, you sure you can cut through? Yeah, if you and Teen Angel there can keep the dupes off my ass. Fear not, or I shall protect you. Got it. All yours, Steve. You go inside and grab Augustine. Eugene and I will keep these guys off your back. Watching you, Delson Rowe, testing you while you assembled your little bag of tricks. Very impressive. Yeah? I know all about what you did, too. Using Hank to set up that crash, making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters just so you could look like the hero. Someone has to protect the conduits. Protect? <laughs> In the seven years since my DUP took over conduit oversight from the military, not a single one of our kind has been killed. No, of course not. Could you just hunt them down and lock them up? Yes, in Curtin K. Protected from the mobs that want to kill conduits. It's what's best for them, whether they know it or not. <laughs> you just make that decision for them, huh? Some decisions are too important. I've seen how people look at you in the street. Do you know how rare it is? For the powerless to embrace a conduit? You've got to use that popularity, that trust, to convince them that the only solution to the bio-terrorist menace is my DUP. Did you know that over half the conduits who died in the bloodbath seven years ago were killed by the military? If they regain control, what makes you think things won't return to those good old days? No. 
No, I'm gonna expose you and your deception. And then we'll see who the real protector is. That would be a death sentence for all conduits. I can't let you do that. And I won't let you stop me. You want my power? You got it. Seven years ago, my unit was there to save lives from a new threat. Conduits. People with powers that no one understood. They had the power to kill. And the power to transform some of us into conduits, too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together, we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. We'd hurt no one, but they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks, hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, it'd be behind the walls of Curtin K. Seven years. I've kept them safe. Me. I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years, all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. <clears throat> you turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who's the savior? And who's the monster? This is what you wanted! You win! We both have the same power! Only difference is... I've had seven years to practice. Hold that hurts. When the dust finally settled, all you could see of Augustine were her eyes peering out from that concrete shell. The rage that had filled them moments earlier was now replaced by fear. We dismantled the fortress she had built, the army she had raised, the future she had planned. The entire world was about to know that she had failed. 
taken down by a gamer, a junkie, and a small town delinquent. The crowds cheered as Augustine was hauled away. Before all this, no one would have imagined that humans and conduits could coexist. And now I was the guy kicking off the second age. Oh, and those conduits who'd spent years locked inside the walls of Curtin K, they were soon to be free once again, to live their own lives, to choose their own futures. As for me, I'd gotten what I came for. And now, now I had a promise to keep. This is a promise, right? Huh. And the others? I just got here. You're my first stop. You saved me, Delson Rowe. Hey, we're a comish. We take care of our own, right? Where's Reggie? Reggie, uh... Reggie saved me.